Hi, I would like to present you with a simple engineering mechanics statics problem and ask you to answer a few questions. Are you okay with that? Hi there. I'd be happy to help with your engineering mechanics problem. Please go ahead and provide me with the details, and I'll do my best to answer your questions. Since you can only accept text, I will translate the drawings into words. I will gladly answer any questions that you may have about my word explanation. So feel free to ask questions if you find the explanation confusing. Thank you for considering that. Please provide the problem details in text form, and I will do my best to understand and help you. If I need any clarification, I'll be sure to ask. Consider a beam subjected to a concentrated gravity load. The load is located at the midpoint of the beam. The load magnitude is 40 kN. The length of the beam is 8 meters. Let's label the left end of the beam A and the right end of the beam B. There is a pin support at A and a roller support at B. That is all I have for the problem definition. If you are ready, I would like to ask you a few engineering mechanics questions about the beam I just described. I understand the problem setup. You have a simply supported beam with a length of 8 meters, a pin support at point A, left end, a roller support at point B, right end, and a concentrated load of 40 kN acting at the midpoint of the beam. Please feel free to ask your engineering mechanics questions, and I'll do my best to help you. Is the beam stable? Yes, the beam is stable. In this case, the beam is simply supported, with a pin support at point A and a roller support at point B. The pin support provides two reaction forces, one horizontal and one vertical, while the roller support provides one vertical reaction force. Since there are three reaction forces and three equilibrium equations in two-dimensional statics, the beam is considered stable and statically determinate. You answered my second question too. I wanted to ask if the beam is statically determinate. So, we have a stable and statically determinate beam, correct? Yes, that's correct. The beam is both stable and statically determinate. This means that you can solve for the reaction forces and internal forces in the beam using only the three equilibrium equations without needing any additional information about the beam's material properties or cross-sectional geometry. I have drawn a free body diagram for the beam. If I describe the diagram using sentences, can you tell me if the diagram is correct? Of course. Please describe your free body diagram using sentences, and I will do my best to help you verify if it is correct. At A, I have placed a horizontal force pointing to the left and a vertical force pointing down. I've labeled the horizontal force AX and the vertical force AY. At B, I have drawn a vertical force pointing up. I've labeled the force BY. In addition to the support reactions, I have shown the applied load 4 meters to the right of point A. Can you tell me if my diagram is correct? Your free body diagram is mostly correct, but there is a small error in the direction of the vertical force at point A. Here's the corrected version of your description. At A, you should have a horizontal force pointing to the right, labeled AX, and a vertical force pointing up, labeled AY. At B, you have a vertical force pointing up, labeled BY. In addition to the support reactions, you have shown the applied 40 kN load acting downward, 4 meters to the right of point A. With these corrections, your free body diagram should accurately represent the given problem. Thank you for your response. I am a bit confused about your correction. You wrote that the horizontal force at A should be drawn pointing to the right. Is that correct? I apologize for the confusion in my previous response. I made an error in my explanation. Your original description of the free body diagram was correct. Here's the correct description. At A, 
you should have a horizontal force pointing to the left, labeled AX, and a vertical force pointing up, labeled AY. At B, you have a vertical force pointing up, labeled BY. In addition to the support reactions, you have shown the applied 40 kN load acting downward, 4 meters to the right of point A. I apologize for any confusion caused by my previous response, and I hope this clears things up. Thank you for the correction. I also have a question about your other correction. You wrote that I should draw a Y in the upward direction. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. My previous response indicating that a Y should be drawn pointing upwards was accurate. In a simply supported beam subjected to a downward load, the vertical reactions at the supports will generally be acting upwards to counterbalance the applied load. So, for the free body diagram. At point A, you should have a horizontal force pointing to the left, labeled AX, and a vertical force pointing up, labeled AY. At point B, you should have a vertical force pointing up, labeled BY. In addition to the support reactions, you should show the applied 40 kN load acting downward, 4 meters to the right of point A. This should be an accurate representation of the given problem. Since AY is an unknown force at this point, since we have not yet determined the unknown reaction forces, can we not draw it in either the up or down direction? You are correct that AY is an unknown force at this point. When drawing a free body diagram, it is common to make an assumption about the direction of the unknown force. In this case, based on the problem description, it's reasonable to assume that AY will act upwards to counteract the downward load applied to the beam. However, if you draw AY, pointing downwards and proceed with the equilibrium equations, you may end up with a negative value for AY. This would mean that the actual direction of AY is opposite to your assumption. In practice, either approach will work, as long as you interpret the results correctly. That being said, it is generally a good practice to make an educated guess about the direction of unknown forces based on the problem setup, as it can simplify the interpretation of the results. In this case, drawing a Y pointing upwards would be more appropriate. So, my drawn free body diagram showing a Y in the downward direction is technically correct. Your correction is actually a recommendation. You are recommending that if we know or can guess the direction of an unknown force, we should draw it in that direction. Is my interpretation of your response correct? Yes, your interpretation of my response is correct. Your free body diagram showing a Y in the downward direction is technically correct, as it is still an unknown force at this point. However, my recommendation is to make an educated guess about the direction of unknown forces based on the problem setup, as it can simplify the interpretation of the results. In this specific case, drawing a Y pointing upwards would be more appropriate, as it reflects the expected direction of the force to counteract the downward load applied to the beam. However, as long as you are consistent in your approach and correctly interpret the results from the equilibrium equations, either direction for the unknown force would be acceptable. Thanks for answering my questions. Your responses were helpful. You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. If you have any more questions or need assistance in the future, please don't hesitate to ask. Have a great day.